Okay, so we're going to continue our 14-2 work together. Um, just a heads up, um, Beckett is home with me and awake. Usually I film these um, when he's sleeping. So if you hear him in the background, he is supposed to be playing. He's currently dumping his Cheerios all over the floor. All right. Um, okay, so we are going to continue posting. Um, we had posted the first two transactions in our general journal. And so now we are going to December 8th. Um, we're going to go to our accounts receivable. And we need to make sure that you put December in there because we're in the new month and G15, and this time we are debiting for 494, and we'll find our new balance. Our new balance then is 33,600.85. Account number 1130, we'll go back to our post-reference. And then we're also going to be posting that debit to Mellon Corporation. So I'm putting that slash in there and I'm going to go down to Mellon Corp. I need to put December 8th. Now, November 4th is when we wrote off their account. Remember, this is where we'd have written off in here. And so in the, in the item column, we really would be putting reopen, um, but Again, they're not having us do that on this problem, okay? So G15, um, and putting that debit of 494, and so now my new debit balance is just 494. Now, if I don't have that in my item column, it looks like they've charged another 494 onto their account, which that's not what's happening. They're not charging an additional 494. It's we're opening their account, reopening their account right now, so... Account number 130 goes back up. Okay, next we're going to allowance for uncollectible accounts. And December 8th, G15, and we're going to credit this one for 494. My new balance I get is 1610.47. Account number 1135. Okay, I am going again for my next transaction. I'm going again to allowance for uncollectibles. Oops, forgot to look at the date. It's the 14th. G15, and this time I'm debiting for 1,360. My new credit balance then will be $250.47. Account number 1135 goes back up. Okay, now we're going to post to accounts receivable, the 14th, G15, and a credit of 1360 My new balance is 32,240.85. Account number 1130 goes back up. I'm going to put that slash in because I'm also posting that credit to Fisher Industries. December 14th, G15. It's the 14th, right? Yep. And I have a credit of 1360. Remember, this is where I'd be writing written off in my item column. Um, also, I would draw a line through my debit, but here I'm just going to put a zero in. And then account number 110 goes back up. G15, 
Um, next, I'm posting to accounts receivable. It's the 16th G15. Um, a debit of 1548. My new balance is 33,788.85. Account number 1130 goes back up. Put the slash in and I'm also posting to Horn Company. Um, December 16th, G15, a debit of 1548. Now this is where I'd be putting that reopen. And my new balance then is 1548. Account number 120 goes back up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, and then the last one from my general journal is my allowance for uncollectibles. The 16th, G15. And I'm crediting for 1548. Um, my new balance is 1798.47. And then account number 1135. Okay, so. When I look at my general journal post reference column, that is completely filled in. So it tells me that I'm done posting with my general journal. So next I'm gonna go to my cash receipts journal. Um, I'm not posting totals here. I'm only posting my individual line. So I'm gonna start on line one. I'm looking over to the left to the account title. That's what I'm, what I'm posting to. So I'm gonna be posting to Mellon Corporation. The date is the 8th. For my post reference here, this is my cash receipts journal. So I'm going to use CR24 for page 24. So CR24. And I'm going to be looking here for what I'm posting. This is a credit. So I'm posting a credit of 494. And my new balance then is zero. My account number 130 then goes to my post reference. Okay, next one is Horn Corporation. It's the 16th. Again, I'm using CR24, Cash Receipts Journal, page 24. I'm looking at this column. It is my credit, so I'm going to credit that account for 1548. And my new balance is zero. Account number 120 then goes to my post reference. Again, like I said, I'm not posting then any of my totals here, I'm just posting my post reference column. So um, I am done posting then for my cash receipts. So I'm gonna go ahead and say grade final step. We'll make sure everything looks good. Okay, and save and continue. Okay, so you can go ahead and go on to the 14.2 on your own. Um, when you finish the 14.2 on your own, there is then a video for the 14.3 lecture that you can watch. Make sure that you email me if you have any questions.